Blessed is our God, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, Lord everywhere and fill us all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-creating, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, how many are my foes, many are rising against me. Many are saying of me, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield about me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God. For thou dost smite all mine enemies on the cheek. Let us break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Thy blessing be upon thy people. I lie down and sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath, for thine arrows have sunk into me, and thy hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head, they weigh like a burden too heavy for me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. All the day I go about mourning. For my loins are filled with burning, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am utterly spent and crushed, I groan because of the tumult of my heart. Lord, all my longing is known to thee, my sign is not hidden from thee. My heart drops, my strength fails me, the light of mine eyes, it also has gone from me. My friends and companions stand aloof from my plague, and my kinsmen stand afar off. Those who seek my life lay their snares, those who seek my hurt speak of ruin, and meditate treachery all the day long. But I am like a deaf man, I do not hear, like a dumb man who does not open his mouth. Yea, I am like a man who does not hear, and in whose mouth are no rebukes. But for thee, O Lord, do I wait. It is thou, O Lord my God, who wilt answer. For I pray, only let them not rejoice over me, who boast against me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall, and my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity, I am sorry for my sin. Those who are my foes without cause are mighty, and many are those who hate me wrongfully. Those who render me evil for good are my adversaries, because I follow after good. Do not, forsake, do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, I seek thee, my soul thirsts for thee, my flesh faints for thee, as in a dry and weary land where no water is. So I have looked upon thee in the sanctuary, beholding thy power and glory. Because thy steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise thee. So I will bless thee as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and call in thy name. My soul is feasted as with marrow and fat, and my mouth praises thee with joyful lips. When I think of thee upon my bed and med meditate on thee in the watches of the night, 
For thou hast been my help, and in the shadow of thy wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to thee, thy right hand upholds me. But those who seek to destroy my life shall go down into the depths of the earth. They shall be given over to the power of the sword, and they shall be prey for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God, all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouths of liars will be stopped. I meditate on thee in the watches of the night, for thou hast been my help, and in the shadow of thy wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to thee, thy right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For this holy house, for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For our metropolitan deacon, for our Bishop Benedict, for the honorable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For the president of our country, for all those in civil authority and for those in the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
needs of my wretched life. How shall I begin, O Christ, to relieve my present tears? But as thou art deeply compassionate, grant me forgiveness of sin. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. Thou wretched soul, with your flesh, confess to the Creator of all, in the future refrain from your former brutishness, and offer to God tears in repentance. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. Adam was rightly exiled from Eden for not keeping thy one commandment of Savior. But what should I suffer for am always in rejecting thy living word? Have mercy on me, O God, and mercy on me.
found the source of life, and from my heart I cry to thee before my end, I have sinned, be merciful, save me.
despise not thy works and forsake not thy creation, for just to judge and lover of men, though I alone have sinned as man more than any other man, but being Lord of all, thou hast power to pardon sin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The end is drawing near, my soul is drawing near, but you neither can nor prepare. The time is growing short, rise, the judge is near at the very doors. Like a dream, like a flower, the time of this life passes. Why do we bustle about in vain? Have mercy on me, O God. Lord, have mercy on me. The great patriarch, by begetting the twelve patriarchs, mystically set up for you, my soul, a ladder of active ascent, having wisely ordered his children's rungs, and his steps as a sad. Have mercy on me, O God, Lord, have, have mercy on me. Have you heard of Job, who was made holy on a dunghill, my soul? You have not emulated his courage, nor had his firmness of purpose in all you have learned or known, or in your temptations, but you have proved unpersevering. Have, have mercy on me, O God. Lord, have mercy on me. My body is defiled, my spirit is sullied, and I am all covered with sores. But as the physician of Christ, he'll wash and cleanse both body and spirit with repentance, and make me my Savior, Pure than snow. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Thou didst lay down thy body and blood for all, O crucified word. Thy body in order to renew me, thy blood in order to wash me, and thou didst surrender thy spirit, O Christ, in order to bring me to the Father. Creator, that we may be saved. Thou wast voluntarily crucified on the tree, even that was closed is open. Things on high and below, creation and all peoples are saved and worship thee. Accept me in penitence and recall me to awareness of thee. May I never be the possession or food of the enemy, O Savior. Have compassion on me. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. I am become my own idol and have injured my soul with passion, so merciful Lord. But accept me in penitence and recall me to awareness of thee. May I never be the possession or food of the enemy. O Savior, have compassion on me. Oh, divine intercessor, a 
divided in essence, unconfused in persons, one triune divinity co-enthroned and co-reigning, I sing thee the great song thrice sung on high. I may obtain salvation and eternal life. Glory, Glory to, to the, the 
son of Mary, I am slain by the man from Bethlehem, for he is present everywhere and fills all things. Trinity, 
simple and undivided, of one essence and one nature, lights and light, three holies and one holy, God the Trinity is hymned, but sing my soul and glorify the life and lives, the God of all. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. We sing of thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, O Mother of God, for thou gavest birth to one of the inseparable Trinity, the one Son and God, and to us on earth, thou hast opened the heavenly realm. Snatched astray from the wolf, and make me a pet 
the gospel to the poor, cured cripples, ate with publicans, conversed with sinners, and he brought back the departed soul of Jairus' daughter by the touch of his hand. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Do not let despair make you worse than a Canaanite woman, my soul, for you have heard of her faith, through which her daughter was healed by the word of God. Call to Christ like her from the depths of your heart, Son of David, save me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Do not require of me fruits worthy of repentance, for my strength is spent in me. Grant me ever a contrite heart and spiritual poverty, that I may offer these gifts to thee as an acceptable sacrifice, O Holy Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Intercede with the Creator on behalf of those who praise thee, Holy Mother, that we may be delivered from the sufferings and afflictions which beset us on all sides, that being delivered from our temptations, we may unceasingly magnify the Lord who glorified thee. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Venerable Andrew, thrice blessed Father, Shepherd of Crete, cease not to pray to God for those who, for those who sing of thee, that he may deliver from anger, oppression, corruption, and cower countless sins, all of us who faithfully honor thy memory. Holy Father, and to pray to God for us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Trinity of one essence, tri-personal unity, we sing thy praise, glorifying the Father, magnifying the Son, and adoring the Spirit, who art truly one God by nature, life and lives, kingdom unending. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Protect thy church, spotless mother of God, for in thee it faithfully reigns, and in thee is made strong, and through thee it conquers and routs every trial and temptation, and spoils its foes and rules its subjects. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Standing in the temple of thy glory, we think that we are in heaven, O Phil, Tobos, gate of heaven. Open to us the gate of thy mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. True veil to us, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. He who is, even Christ our God, is blessed, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, establish ye Orthodox Christians, confirm the faith, quiet the heathen, give peace to the world, place our departed fathers and brethren in the tabernacles of the righteous, and accept us sorrowers and penitents, for thou art good and the lover of mankind. O Lord and Master of my life, give me not the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk, but give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions, and not to judge my brother, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. O God, cleanse me a sinner. 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 O Lord and Master of my life, give me not the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk, but give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. St. Herman of Alaska, of St. Enos, and Teak, and Alexis, Jake, Raphael, Raphael, and Olga of America, of St. Mary of Egypt, of the Andrew of Crete, whom we remember this day, and of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim, and Anne, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. So, uh, if we use the key that I talked about yesterday, uh, the key between me and thou, me and together, how does that apply to the service? Uh, maybe in a very simple way. Uh, there are two usual 
uh, means uh, by which uh, for 2,000 years uh, uh, people try to evade the latter and uh, 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 embrace the former uh, of the two things that the key presents to us. What do I mean? The first is to imagine uh, 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 that all those people have mentioned this is, uh, the canon is an, uh, an exe exegesis of the scripture. It just presents to us the quotations and references and associations with the scripture. So, of course, the scripture brings all kinds of people. So we imagine being ourselves in place of those people. Uh, like Moses talking to God uh, in front of the burning bush. Uh, or like, like Jacob, or like Joseph, or, all the, uh, or like Jeremiah and Manasseh, and we imagine uh, ourselves being in their place. All right? Uh, or uh, that, that uh, especially in the West, uh, we take uh, 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 Christ and put him out of that deep past and bring him in front of us. Again, we imagine ourselves to have just like those people, to have a direct uh, encounter with him by ourselves. Uh, uh, and that's why Christ was brought into the, as I mentioned some time before, uh, into the streets of Florence or Venice. And, and so, yeah, so bring him to us, or us imagine ourselves there. Both are wrong. Both ways are profoundly wrong. Because the scripture talks to us about and, uh, and gives us an invitation to connect to them all, to find ourselves in their midst, to find ourselves together with all those people, not to imagine ourselves being Moses, but to stand by him hearing the voice, to be with them, to be, to be included in that encounter with God that all of them experienced. That creates a very, very different perspective, isn't it? That creates a sort of notion that we're not alone with him, because we really cannot. It's just a pure fiction that we can be alone in front of our God. We're always together. And the, the, the key of our salvation is not to receive a pat on the shoulder and say, well, you did a good job. Uh, no, it is to invite into that community of with God, with each other, experience the unity of the church. So, uh, uh, in that way, the canon represents to us an absolutely incredible treasure of that cross-cut uh, and, and the uh, uh, bringing all those people, bringing us in communion with them, not pretending to be them, not bringing them into our time, but transcending all of that in that unity. So we're with them. And because we see how they react, we are invited to act in a similar fashion. We are together with them. So, and then, of course, uh, uh, as, as uh, our very rapid ascent uh, to the week of the passions and the glorious resurrection of Christ, then that notion of unity, that notion, that, uh, that invitation to participate and enter into the unity of the persons uh, always surrounding Christ, always being with them, always being with him. That invitation will become clearer and clearer. So tomorrow uh, we are invited into the glorious presence of the Mother of God. And like the whole church, uh, we will stand around her and show her, tell her, cry to her our love and appreciation for being who she is.